Blizzard is releasing a new mobile game based on the Warcraft IP and it's coming in 2022. Hello guys, my name is Midway and welcome to this video, let's dive into it. This all comes after the news yesterday based on the Q4 earnings call from Activision Blizzard where it was disclosed that Blizzard is planning substantial new content for the Warcraft franchise in 2022, including new experiences in World of Warcraft, likely to be 9.2 and 9.2.5, and Hearthstone, probably a new expansion, and getting all new mobile Warcraft content into players' hands for the first time. There you go. Something that's worth pointing out is that this news was basically leaked by Tauli on stream a couple days before and Asmongold even made a video about it talking, so um, there might not just be a single Warcraft mobile game coming our way, but actually two, and it might be way sooner than we expect, even though it's already been said that it's going to be in 2022, it could actually even be unveiled in the next week when we are expecting 9.2 to officially be announced finally. But just look, listen to what Tauli is going to be saying here. Believe it or not, I think there's, there's two WoW mobile games. One which is not ready, one which I believe is ready, and then Diablo Immortal release date would be something they could announce too. There we go. So he's basically saying he kind of knows that there's one that's officially ready and another one that's kind of in the works. Now, Tally is somebody that's been notorious for having connections directly with a lot of the Blizzard developers and specifically WoW developers. He's friends with a lot of them, and uh, especially as Asmongold has already stated before, should give a lot of weight to what he's saying in this video. Now, following a little bit more on the same line with Tally disclosing a little bit more than he probably should, we have Mr. GM quoting Blizzard on the earnings call and then saying, what do you think the mobile Warcraft content will be? Here we have a picture saying World of Warcraft and a little bit of a uh, representation of what the game would be. Just a little bit of an imagination about it. And then Tally saying, take World of oh, in your picture and you are getting close, meaning take World of from the World of Warcraft and you are just left with Warcraft. Now, what I understand from this is that he's likely saying that it's not going to have to do anything necessarily with World of Warcraft as we know it, the PC game MMO. It's just likely going to be based on the Warcraft IP. Much like Hearthstone was borrowing characters and story from the Warcraft IP, it's likely that it's just going to be happening the same in this case. Most likely also indicating that there's going to be no sort of integration between the mobile game and the World of Warcraft game as we know it, but there's very, very likely, almost 100% guaranteed, that there's going to be a cross-promotion between games, so you'll probably be playing the, the mobile game and getting a mount within World of Warcraft, much like happened when Hearthstone was released, and much like it happened when Heroes of the Storm was released as well. Now, I think this can really only be a positive thing for World of Warcraft. More people being interested in the Warcraft IP via the mobile game might mean that they will likely check out the WoW PC game as we know it. More players coming into WoW is really all we need, especially after looking at Blizzard's earnings call. And you can see that it's been going down ever since December 2020, all the way up until December 2021. It's gone down from 29 million monthly active users to only 24. Now, how much of that is a part of WoW, I am not too sure, but a drop of 5 million monthly active users, that is a lot of people that are stopping to play Blizzard games. More people coming to the game through the mobile game will be good for these numbers, but we don't really care about these numbers, we don't care about Blizzard, we care about World of Warcraft, we care about our game growing, so more people come and check it out, and the likelihood is that is what will happen if the mobile game does well. The one-to-one -one correlation between the mobile game and the PC game is not a guarantee, but, I mean, once you get interested in the characters and the story, why not go and check out the game that really holds all that value of the franchise in it, like Warcraft RTS games or the World of Warcraft MMO. So yeah, I'm excited about this mobile game thing. I don't think it's going to mean much big changes to the actual WoW game itself, but it might just track new players, and we are likely to get a shiny new mount based on this cross-promotion that is very likely to happen between the mobile game and the PC game. So I'm looking forward to it. Likelihood is it might even be announced in like the next week. That's probably where we are expecting 9.2 to officially be announced two weeks before the actual patch is supposed to be coming out so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you found it informative or you liked it let me know in the comments drop a like subscribe i'll also be streaming on twitch.tv slash midwayeu i usually stream high-end mythic plus content from a holy paladin pov and also my raids and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye